Sam, this is Deadman. I calibrated your BB based on physiological data we collected from you earlier. It's still just a best guess, though. After you take it out for a spin, we can check if you're in sync and tweak the BB sensitivity as needed. Sam, Hartman here, researcher devoted to uncovering the secrets of the beaches and the Death Stranding, as well as those of dudes and repatriates. When you relieve yourself, a certain amount of chiral matter is flushed from your system. Chiral matter can adversely affect hormone secretion and nervous function. There's a correlation between exposure and the development of phobias, as well as in extreme cases, violent and suicidal impulses. Chirelium contamination has even been postulated as a trigger for the onset of dooms. Allow me to collect a sample of your excretions for my studies. They provide a non-invasive means to monitor your exposure to Chirelium and your overall health. that terminal there, you can browse the bridge's database, which has info on a range of subjects. You don't have clearance for everything, but there's still plenty you might find informative. This case will remove any chiral matter still clinging to your suit. Uh, speaking of suits, blue is for delivery personnel, red for medical, orange for corpse disposal, and black for security. Hey there, I believe we've met. I oversee delivery operations as well as maintenance and repairs. Nice to have you on board. I'm Mama, in case I didn't mention it before. Those there are strands. Not just used for packing, by the way, but for identification, too. Take a closer look and you'll see. See the red there? That's your blood.
Have you had a chance to think it over? Chock full of Chirelium, but safer you Dooms guys to wear. That's all you'll need to go forth and reconnect the world. To make us whole again. I'm a porter. I don't care about connecting anything. Or making knots. But I'll do what I have to, to help Amelie out. Listen up, Sam. The terminals Amelie's people built in the towns and cities they pass through on their journey west are called knots. The infrastructure's there, but the Cairo network is offline. Right now, it's only capable of transmitting voice communications, sometimes wired, sometimes wireless, and a small amount of data. So, unless the necessary data stored on site, our chirograms won't show up. Emily and the other Bridges members you've seen around the place are grams generated with local data. In case you didn't know. Anyway, all you've got to do is find the knot, connect your cupid, and bring Cairo communications online. Once you connect it to the terminal, you'll be able to initiate zero-time massive data transmission with the UCA network. And just like that, you'll reconnect us not only to each other, but to our past. All the lost and fragmented junk data will be compiled and restored. Like bringing a dinosaur back to life from a fossil. Four point six billion years of history on Earth. All the wisdom and knowledge we lost since the Death Stranding will be ours again. And that, my friend, is how we'll beat this thing. Once you establish Cairo Communications, generating grams won't be an issue. You'll also be able to use Cairo printers. Won't be long before we're able to send all kinds of things through the wire. Except anything original. Or that's got a soul. Nothing real. Just copies. True. Which is why we'll still need porters like you. Before and after we're made whole, we'll need men in the middle. No rest for the wicked, huh? Yeah, well, idle hands and all that. We'll give you the details at the dispatch terminal. Make sure you check it upstairs. Drop's waiting up there, too. These shoes look like they've done some serious miles. Shall I dispose of them? Wait. Hold on. There's something I want you to look into. My blood seemed to set those things off. Happened more than once. Set them off? How do you mean? I don't know. You took my blood, didn't you? You tell me. All right. I'll see what I can do. Hmm.
is to extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. But don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like uh, tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the Cupid. Sam, order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. Sam, now we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order. Order assigned. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Sam. Triple checked your loadout, I take it.
someone left over there. You can leave some of your own if you'd like. Messages, warnings, words of encouragement, whatever comes to mind. are tagged with Bridges IDs for easy tracking. And your Ojo deck is equipped with a scanner which might detect said IDs. Which is a roundabout way of saying, but that thing on your shoulder can help you locate Miss Lake. Sam, feel free to submit. If you come across any more while out on a run, and it'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part.
ladder could get you safely across most rivers, you know. Maybe try using the one we issued you. Anybody hear me?
Bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Cargo verified. Thank you. Delivering cargo. Thank you. We've all been feeling the loss of Central Knot City. The oxytocin will take the edge off, and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. <laughs> this is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. You're with the second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? And what, they just sent you out on your own? I mean, if it was just a delivery, that'd be one thing. Porters come through from time to time, but... The second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were gonna connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years! And they sent us one guy who... Shit, shit, shit! Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. Really? So it's true. I finally got it working. Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So what are you waiting for? But you, you put us on the goddamn grid. Connection to Capital Knot City confirmed. It's really happening. <laughs> Just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on till you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Port Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station. As to which you should head for first. Start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Hard work's paying off, Sam. 
Thanks to the increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional... Should prove useful. CC to build a post box. To build a post box, you'll need to use a PCC. It goes without... box you'll need to use. It goes without saying, but if you're not...
the rain any longer than you have to. Designated site. Good. When you're ready to proceed. one's for you.
Thanks for the help. Today's a good day. Destination ASAP if you don't want to get caught. Trouble, huh? 
doesn't look so hot. <sighs> Nothing to worry about. Its functions are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry, though. Sam Bridges, we're the second expedition, right? The 
began expanding the chiral network on his lonesome. What? He's not out making deliveries. So what'd you bring us? Let's see it. Talk about above and beyond. <laughs> Thanks. Must have had to pass through BT territory to get here too, didn't you? <laughs> they weren't joking when they said you were a legend. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west, and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work. Dead man, you there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. Uh, a temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital, not city, ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a still mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now the pod is synchronizing with the Steel Mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. 
Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. <sighs> uh, you should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb. A process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. Uh, it may need to be retired before this expedition is over. Hmm. And then? You're saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? Uh, you must understand. There is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Sam? Can you see me? How are things over there? Still not under guard, still not chained up, still can't leave. But if you can keep making connections, if you can get to me, we can go back east, back home. Thank you. I mean that. It's bad. There are fewer and fewer people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't gonna get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Hello, Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and so, and also my research as it happens. Study other people with dooms? Everyone in riches. 
myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids. Waste products. Dry rally. Dispensing. There. Take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows? It may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Oh, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. Now, I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo Network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now, we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading.
Sam, we've received a distress call from the distro center staff. Check the order on the delivery terminal as soon as you're ready. How's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too. With other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Hmm, bleed-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Pirelia monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you.
Bomb has added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, you never know when you'll... Restrictions lifted. Call it a rule or a habit, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful, these guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. Sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. You've been spotted by a mule. Find somewhere to hold up. Look around and trust your instincts.
been busy. Seems all the mules in your vicinity have been incapacitated. jobs no one really needed and gave them the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies to get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next porter. Make sure you're not him.
Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Decontaminating suit. Footwear condition poor. Replacement is advised. Doesn't have a scratch on it. Never doubted you'd come through for us. Sam, how are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine, conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that, and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another by a terminal at one of our many facilities. Good work, Sam. Seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely on. One might like an our relationship with it, that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learned. You have my word. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information.
holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. Surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. And they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Order of time. Your private locker can... Ah. <sighs> 